Okay, now we need another piece cut to one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And what we're going to do with this one, it's going to sit in one of the um, compartments and it's going to hold a dowel. But what we need to do, let me grab this one so I can um, get some rolls off here. Okay, so what we want to do is have it so they sit down there like that. So it needs definitely to be centered and it needs to be positioned so that we can fit the two rolls on there um, evenly. So, um, okay, so we need it to be, well, half of that, let's do it this way. Let's find the center, okay, which is about there. And the center of here. It's about there. Um, all right, so let's draw this line down here. And this line down there. So that's the center. So then we want to find the center of this one. Um, so if I just sit that there, that looks about the center. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so the center point here looks to be about 1 and 15 sixteenths. So, yeah, so not quite two inches there and not quite two inches there. Um, and the centre here is going to be 15 sixteenths, okay, because we've cut an eighth of an inch off. Um, so then the centre of this one <laughs> is about there. So just... You know, it's it's not, um, you don't have to be too precise as long as you give yourself enough room. And the Timmy ruler is perfect for this. All right. So that's it there. So if I just, so I can see. There we go. So I want to now put the dowel in the center there. And then draw a circle, trace the around it. Okay, so roughly about there is where we got it. And do the same to this side. Okay, so that's it there. And now we're going to do the same thing with our craft knife, but we're not going to. Are we going to go all the way through? Yeah, we're going to go all the way through because this one's going to be like a false. It's just, there's going to be a false bottom basically. All right, so craft knife and craft mat. And let's start digging out that circle. then should sit in there nicely just like that and that will then be glued to the base of it okay let's do the same to the other side so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same paper that we had before and I'm just going to glue it on there like that yep so let's do that leaving about a half an inch all the way around. So let me just cut that off about there. So I'm then just going to put some score tape around the edge.
now I'm just going to mitre the corners. Now just placing some score tape around the edges of the paper. And that should be enough. I'm not going to put any on the um, chipboard. Removing the tape backing. So I'm just going to fold over the long sides first. Then we're going to dog ear the corners. we need to cut those circles out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my craft knife and very carefully try and cut that circle out so then I could probably there we go much better all right so that's what we've done there Okay, I've got to do the same to the other one. Now, I wish that wasn't so loose. But that then's going to sit in the bottom there. We're going to adhere it to the bottom. Well, yeah, we need to adhere it to the bottom so that our dowels can sit in there nicely. So. Yeah, all right. We need to cut our dowels now down to three inches. So I'm just measuring the three inches. Okay. Let's paint them, I guess. Okay, I'll be back when they've finished being painted and dried. Okay, so I've just put um, the score tape around the perimeter of this false bottom. And I think I'm going to put some Aileen's on the inside. So, let's do that now. And try and center it in there. Okay, here goes nothing. Remembering that it's 
Yeah, pretty darn good. Okay, it's an eighth of an inch smaller, so just want to make sure that that sits in there nice and tightly. And now we shall insert the dowels. And remembering that we painted only one end, so that'll sit in there like that. And that one in there like that. Okay, so, yep, cool. Let's do that now. I'm going to use Aileen's tacky again. And that's going to sit in there like that. I'm just going to press it down. It's standing up straight. There we go. And do the same to the other one. And that looks about right. Leave that alone and let it dry. Okay. I'll just bring it up. And I'll be back. <laughs> 